Last week, Facebook turned off the Messenger within the main app to force the masses to download the new Messenger app. As I mentioned before, this is to actually control your phone's contact list and ultimately the phone itself. But recent issues cropping up stating the app terms of conditions were just a little bit seedy. The Wall Street Journal talked about how when you install the app, it tries to take over your contacts. Within the small print, they found an app could actually use your information to their advantage. One policy would allow Facebook to message your contacts without your knowledge. Now, I would guess that was to allow Facebook notifications and the inbox to alert you of new messages and alert them of new messages. Further, the app could take over your camera and audio at any time. Now, this can get spun into a state where people would be in fear that Facebook might just turn on your phone at any time and start recording what you say and what you do before you start putting tape over your camera. Let's just take a step back here for a second. Now, Facebook states that the Android permissions force them to make scandalous sounding policies within their app. Still, if you send Joe Schmo a message, Facebook could send them an SMS or voice call message to him, something that uh, you could actually easily opt out of. I'm reading a large thread by Robert Scoble, who's basically defending the new Messenger app. In his case, he responds to almost every text or call sent to him, and he does get thousands of those a day. The features of Messenger actually helps him out. He likes how the program organizes his content uh, so he can respond to people better, something that Hangouts or SMS Messenger can't do. There were over 450 replies when I got on there and uh, made some statements, but a few of those replies came from Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban, who basically said, when you hit send on a text or Facebook messenger message, you lose ownership, but you don't lose responsibility. You have no idea who keeps your messages and what they may do with them. They lose context. There are people with five-year-old messages that seem meaningless at the time, and anything reposted on social media can be given whatever context the poster wants. That is risky. Now, I installed the Facebook Messenger app on my phone over the weekend and my tablet as well. The 13 megabyte app for Android installs quick and easily, and it took me into a settings area where I was asked to sync my contacts with my phone. I basically said, not now. The app all then asked me for my phone number. I said, no, not now. It double checked to make sure I wanted to do it, and I said, no, let's skip this. I then had Messenger on my phone without it taking over the phone functions. So why is Facebook doing this? It's simple. Google and Facebook are in a fight to take over the phone side of your phone. The path to a numberless phone has begun, and it all starts with the contact list. Now, Google has done this with the Hangouts app in Android KitKat. You are giving them very similar permissions, including location, reading and modifying your contacts, taking pictures, recording audio, sending broadcasts, and more. If you look at the privacy policy to Google, they state that they will share to affiliates that follow the policy and could share information if we have a good faith belief that access, use preservation, or disclosure of the information is reasonably necessary. That basically means if I was planning an attack, if I tried to conduct a fraudulent transaction or something of the sort, Google could actually send my information to officials for arrest and prosecution. Similar to what happens on the shows Criminal Minds, CSI, Law and Order, when they use your phone to find out what you've been doing, where or where you've been or where you are even right now. Facebook is taking things a step further by trying to control the phone call. For example, I was messaging a friend the other day. He decided to call me after a few messages, so within the Messenger app, he actually pressed that phone icon. I then got a really strange ring from my phone, which I realized it was from the Messenger's protocols. Now, his experience was just not that great on the phone call because he got an echo of his voice, which, if anybody's ever dealt with, know it can be really hard to talk if you're hearing your voice about a half second later. A little bit more reality, there are apps out there that also try to control your contacts and the way you make an SMS message or phone call. You can easily use them instead of Messenger or Hangouts, but you have to adhere to their policies, which are very similar to Hangouts or Messengers. He who controls your data wins. 
if you want to live in this digital world, you'll have to live with these facts. We have organizations like the FCC that are supposed to help us control what happens. Bottom line, Facebook's not going to peek on you in the shower through their app. But you're, if you're planning an attack, that could actually be a different story. What's your thoughts of Messenger app? Are you for or against it? Have you installed it? Have you used it? Do you find problems with it? Well, let me know. You can Twitter me over at Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in a geek, or geekazine at gmail.com. That does it for this five-minute Geek Smack review. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. And until then, you guys, geek out.